While I try to walk or cycle whenever possible, like most people, I'd find it hard to live without my car. So I want to find out how I can keep driving, but cause less damage to the environment. Ozone cars can offer an immediate solution, converting existing petrol cars to cheaper, cleaner fuel called liquid petroleum gas, or LPG. LPG is autogas. Um, it's a clean fuel. It's a substitute fuel um, that we can use now on modern vehicles instead of petrols or diesels. It's uh, a byproduct of um, the natural gas industry. And could I get this done to my car and convert it over? Absolutely. Uh, currently worldwide, there's about 27 million vehicles converted to autogas. That's very good. So LPG is cheaper then? It is indeed. LPG at, at the moment is around 69 cent a litre. So it's approximately half the price of traditional fuels and has been over the last three decades. And do you use hydrogen as well, you said? We do indeed. This is an Irish product. And uh, the ultimate cell generates hydrogen gas, which goes into the airstream which enhances the combustibility of the, of the fuel. Emissions can be reduced as high as 80% um, using this type of technology. Ian showed me just how effective LPG can be for a heavy goods vehicle covering long distances. As you can see here, we've removed one of the diesel tanks and we've replaced it with an LPG tank. Typically, an Irish truck would be using about 1,000 litres um, of fuel a week. So in this instance, we'd be using 600 litres of diesel and 400 litres of the cleaner gas. This particular truck is on target to save over 10,000 euros in the first year. Wow, that's absolutely brilliant. So, Ian, this seems like an absolute no-brainer. Are people taking this up? They are indeed. Um, Ireland is a little bit slow out of the blocks, but if you look to China, for example, some of the cities there, 95% of all public vehicles, taxis, buses, they're all running on LPG autogas. It's very, very popular and clean fuel. Although cheaper and cleaner, LPG is still a fossil fuel. And ultimately, we want to keep fossil fuels in the ground. But it could clearly be a practical medium-term solution until alternative renewable fuels are viable. It surprises me that we haven't adopted it more, particularly for public service vehicles.